This guy, anyone know what this guy's name is? Stephen Hawking. Anyone know who this is? Stephen Hawking. Let's put them side by side. Anyone care to guess how old the guy on the left is? Shout out an age. 50, 70, any more? 73. The guy on the right, give me an age. 60, 35. Let's put the ages in. This is Hawking, age 40 in 1982. This is Hawking uh, in 2007, age 65. This is a recent image of Stephen Hawking's and his teeth. Now, I said in a previous lecture that I didn't think that they were dentures, that they, they've got to be real teeth. Dentists wouldn't give you dentures like that. So if you, if you compare it with a much earlier image, his bottom teeth seem to be ground right down to the bone. So my comment was, did his teeth grow back? Now, I have been contacted by a dentist who reckons that the, the teeth on the right, they might be dentures. He's, he's not 100%, but he says it's possible. Let's look at these two images. Do you believe they are the same person? Look carefully. Look carefully. The one on the right is much more recent. The one on the left is, I think, from probably the late 70s or early 80s. Here's Hawking. In the 60s, 70s, 80s, this is him now. Do you believe that is the same person? This comes from a paper by Miles Mathis entitled Stephen Hawking Died and Has Been Replaced. <coughs> now then, which I find persuasive. I've, I've um, been downloading hundreds of images of Stephen Hawking trying to find further evidence about this. But for me, this, this is the most strongest evidence what I'm about to read you. Hawking has amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. The average survival time for ALS is four years. When Hawking was first diagnosed in 1963, doctors gave him two years to live. Hawking has had ALS for over 52 years, which is a record by many decades. Jason Becker is the only person I have heard of who has lived more than 20 years with the disease. So there is about a three-decade difference between the longest survivor and the second longest survivor. And yet, here we are, 52 years later and counting. It appears the real Hawking did beat the odds and live for about 20 years, but at some point he was replaced. I have no proof he died, but I assume that is why they replaced him. He was a very useful public relations entity for physics, and they didn't want to lose him. So there's your reason, yeah? Let's assume it's true. You can see why they might do it, because um, we know if you watch Rich Planet that there are things in science which have been covered up. Uh, cold fusion technology, free energy technology, directed energy weapons, possibly anti-gravitic propulsion systems, all kinds of things, right? So if you're gonna keep that type of thing covered up in physics, um, you, you're not going to want scientists, in, real scientists, investigating those things and talking about them, right? So you can see a motive there. And this guy is treated like a god. No one can question Hawking. He's far too clever, isn't he? Stuff like this. Shit. Stephen Hawking was one of the most intelligent people on the planet. When he was just 22 years old, he was diagnosed with a rare form of the motor neuron disease ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. At the time, he was told that he would only live for about two years. He proved the doctors wrong and he lived a long and incredible life. In March 2018, he passed away at the age of 76. Throughout his life, he became a celebrity. He's been a stand-up comedian with great success. He's also had plenty of cameo appearances on TV shows like The Simpsons and Big Bang Theory. His incredible life and his rise to fame were even documented in the 2014 movie The Theory of Everything. Harking was a celebrity in the scientific world, and he was the last person you would expect to be so famous. He spent most of his life in a wheelchair and was only able to speak through a voice synthesizer. Through all of this, though, he was able to write some of the most important scientific works in recent scientific history, including a brief history of time. His intelligence has been often compared to that of Sir Isaac Newton and Albert Einstein. 
Because of this, most people take the things that he says very seriously. Now, following his death, the warnings that he gave to President Trump have gained a great deal of momentum. Throughout his life, he has spoken about a number of things that he believed could wipe off life on Earth as we know it. A few of these things are artificial intelligence, aliens, overpopulation, and, most recently, the President of the United States, Donald Trump. Stephen Hawking made a variety of discoveries through his life. His studies and views on black holes was groundbreaking. He stated that the laws of physics didn't apply in these mysterious structures. Sadly, his theory of black holes wasn't proven before his death. If it would have been, he would have won a Nobel Prize, which he has been nominated for many times but has never won. While science claims that nothing can escape the gravity of a black hole, Stephen Hawking believed that they can emit energy. Hawking's theories on Donald Trump are quite a bit easier to understand than his theory on black holes. It's no secret that from the time he announced that he was in the running for the President of the United States up until now that the country has been divided because of Donald Trump. His supporters are there for him, and they have very strong feelings about his abilities to run the country. On the other side of the aisle, people who don't like Donald Trump really, really don't like him. This has caused a variety of problems in Washington and all over the country. In June 2017, Stephen Hawking slammed President Trump when he withdrew from the Paris Climate Agreement. Trump believes that global warming is fake news. He believed that it was having a poor effect on the American's workforce. Although the Paris Climate Accord has been instrumental in keeping the planet safe, Trump didn't believe this. He even ended funding to all governmental global warming facilities. Hawking strongly disagreed. In fact, he was never a fan of the former reality television star. Before Trump was elected, Hawking called him a demagogue who seems to appeal to the lowest common denominator. According to an interview that Hawking did with the BBC, he said that Trump's decision on Paris could result in Earth becoming like Venus. Life as we know it on Earth could not survive when the temperature reaches 482 degrees Fahrenheit. This interview was conducted on Hawking's 75th birthday, and he added that due to Trump's action, it will rain sulfuric acid on our planet. According to Hawking, climate change is one of the greatest dangers that we face here on Earth. He says that it's something that can be prevented, but thanks to Donald Trump, this might not happen now. When the president pulled out of the Paris Climate Agreement, he would cause damage to our beautiful planet, and he's endangering the world for us and for our future generations. Although the human race is thriving, Hawking said our days are numbered. In the interview, Stephen Hawking stated, I fear evolution has inbuilt greed and aggression to the human genome. There's no sign of conflict lessening, and the development of militarized technology and weapons of mass destruction could make it even more disastrous. He also suggested that thanks to Donald Trump's poor decision that was likely made out of greed, our best hope for the human race to survive would be on independent colonies in space. He believes that if we are lucky enough for Donald Trump's actions not to cause irreversible damage to the planet, making contact with alien life could. He says that the idea that we are alone in the universe is arrogant and implausible. Based on the number of planets and stars that we already know are in existence, it is very unlikely that we are the only evolved form of life. Hawking believes that if we make contact with aliens and they come to Earth, it will be similar to when Christopher Columbus first landed in America, and things for the Native Americans did not turn out well. According to Hawking, if there is a nuclear war, genetically engineered viruses killing us off or other dangers, our only safe haven would be to go into space. In space, as long as Donald Trump is not the leader, there is a chance that the human race will exist after humans have completely desecrated our planet or after aliens decide to come down and take over all of our natural resources while killing us in the process. It's important that we stand up and listen to Stephen Hawking's chilling warning to the world about President Trump. It could save the lives of all humankind. Stephen Hawking was an amazing man with a brilliant mind, and he will be missed. Subscribe for more.